Okay, good morning, everybody. It's Friday. It's Friday. Hey, 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 hey. It's Friday. Hey, 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 hey. Friday. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's Bree Simon here with the New Doors Mentorship and Coaching. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Listen. My message today is not light and easy. No, it's not light and easy because light and easy doesn't really get you the breakthrough. It doesn't get you going after things. Patting you on the back and giving you a little hug and a kiss kiss. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. Take your time. You know, don't stress yourself out. Don't work too hard. You know, I'll just take some extra time. Good morning, good morning there. You know, you know that dialogue that you have with yourself when you are stepping into the new, you're stepping in the more, you're expanding your capacity, you're going after things. You know, you're doing more transactions this year, you're earning more money, you know, you're building your team, you're going after your relationship that's not so easy you know you're working to your goal weight getting to the gym you think you know when you're really wanting to go after something new it's never convenient and it's never easy and you know our heart our mind are the most deceptive things <laughs> people say just follow your heart good morning good morning everybody People say, just go after your heart. Just follow your heart. Just do what your heart says. Listen, guys, don't do that. Your heart is the most deceiving thing that you can go after when it's coming to going after your dream, when you're going through breakthrough, when you're pushing through to really fight for your relationships. You know, when you're building your business, you're doing things that nobody's ever done before. Don't. Take it easy. Don't take your foot off the gas. Don't listen to that inner voice that's telling you, oh, don't worry. Don't stress out. You know, take a break. It's okay if you don't get to the gym today. It's okay if you don't make your calls. They'll be there for you next week. You know exactly what I'm talking about. This inner dialogue that is, it, that is fleshly, that's like telling you to not go after it. What a lot of other people think when you step out and do something different. This stuff here is garbage. You know, when you are going after things, it's never convenient and it's never easy. Les Brown says this, that if you do what's easy now, your life will be hard. If you do what's hard now, your life will be easy. And John Maxwell says that everything worthwhile is uphill. And you know, I, this week, this week, you know, my, my flesh, my mind has like tried to, tried to tell me before I wake up in the morning, oh, you really want to get up? Brooklyn's in March break. There's no need. Get up. Are you sure you need to go to the gym? This morning I was like, ah, oh, I'm not feeling so good. I'm feeling a little off. Do I, maybe I should just go for a walk. This is a conversation that I have. This is the conversation that I have, so I have to, I have to imagine, I have to guess that you're having it too. That you talk yourself out of what it is that you really want. Do you do that? Talk yourself out of what it is that you want. It's so, it's so easy, guys. Everything worthwhile is uphill. So you're gonna have this inner dialogue. We're talking about building confidence, knowing your worth and building habits. And there's always an adversary. There's always something in the back of your mind that's telling you that you don't need to do that. Take your foot off the, off the gas just a little bit. It's gonna be okay. That's a lie. That's a lie that you have the choice of either accepting or going after. So this morning I was like, you know, having my devotion time, praying, having my coffee and that dialogue happens you're feeling a little off, don't worry, you know, it's okay. I'm like, no, it's not actually okay. I've committed myself to so many days of the week of the gym. If I give myself, remember I said this the other day, I can give myself 30 minutes. I can give myself a little bit more. All week, there's just been this thing that I'm feeling a little off, I'm fighting through it. 
And this morning again too, I could have took my foot off the off the gas and said, it's okay, you don't need to go to the gym. I'm like, no, it's not okay. It's not okay because I know when I go to the gym, when I'm exercising, when I'm listening to podcasts, when I'm in that zone, that's where my imagination grows up. That's where my vibration, my energy gets so high, gets so expansive that I get new ideas, that I get the understanding of what it is that I do, that where that's where I get my encouragement. That's where I get like my life giving moment is when I'm in that place of acceleration and going after what it is that I really want. And so if you don't step into that zone, if you, you know, allow yourself to put your foot off, take your foot off the gas and listen to that inner voice saying, it's okay, take your time. You don't need to make your calls. You don't need to go to your door knocking. You don't need to build your team. You don't need to, you know, go after the position that you're wanting to go after. You know what, that relationship, why bother? They're not going to care anyways. What it is that you want in your life to live joy filled is worthwhile fighting for. I promise you. So this morning I went and I kicked it. I kicked my butt. You got to get off your arse, get off your arse, get off the couch and go after it. I was this morning on the elliptical. I was like, yeah. Clapping my hands, pulling the ropes. I'm on the elliptical. I don't care what people think of me. It's not easy, right? And then I'm getting these ideas and you know, this new uh, business um, things that I'm building and going after and the ideas start coming and the how to start going. Who do I need to reach out to starts coming. If I didn't get myself off the couch, if I didn't get pushed through and getting myself on the elliptical, I wouldn't have had the ideas that I had. I wouldn't have had the energy. No, I guarantee I would not have the energy that I have right now to go and do what I need to get done today. So guys, I just want to encourage you, it being Friday, don't take your foot off the gas. I have another example for you, Brooklyn. She's amazing. She's growing into an incredible athlete. I'm so proud of her, but she's in a crossroads too, right? Where things are getting harder. She's in figure skating and she's in a competitive club and kids around her, like, I mean, what they're doing, at a young age is absolutely amazing. But you know what, her elements are getting hard. She's having to push herself that much more. And she has a coach that pushes her because he believes in her. So he's pushing on her. And so she's in this crossroads of, do I really want this? Mm, do, do I really need to put myself through this? Like I can just, you know, take it easy. I can stay at home and play video games and talk to my friends. She's in that crossroads and I, because I'm her mom, because I believe in her and I see the progress that she's made in the air, I said, this is not a question. You are not quitting now because you're in this, this breakthrough moment that you know, you're gonna make this jump and then it takes you on to the further jumps. Oh no, there's no quitting at this time, girl. There is no going back. There's no you know, taking your foot off the pedal. This is your breakthrough hour. You've been at this for a year and the, the change and the increase and the acceleration that you're experiencing right now, girl, I wouldn't be a good mom if I let you take your foot off the gas and let you just, you know, jump ship. Because you know what would happen with Brooklyn? She'd be jumping ship, going on to her life as an adult. Because that's what we do, right? As kids, at some point we quit something. As, at some point we gave up because it was too hard. And the people around us let us give up. And so now as an adult, you're dealing with the same ghosts in the closet. So you're, you're dealing with the same demons of, oh, it's okay to give up on your dream. It's okay. Don't press yourself too hard. That's a bunch of garbage. And guys, it's so important for you to surround yourself with other people that are accelerating, that are expanding, that are taking risks, that are going after things that other people aren't going after. Don't go after mediocre, don't go after average. It makes me sick to my stomach. Do not go after average, don't go after a mediocre because that's what the majority of the world is doing. No, you're called for more. If you've like have it in you, like I'm called for more, I really want, you know, this to happen in my life. I, I wanna feel that inner joy. I wanna feel like that, you know, that, that I've accomplished something because I've gone after it. Go after it, but surround yourself with the people. Get yourself a coach, get yourself a mentor, put yourself in a ma mastermind. You know, listen to the podcasts. Do whatever you need to do to break the barrier 
of mediocre. Break the barrier of average. Break the barrier of stuck. Do whatever you need to do. Get off your ass, get off the couch, and get to the gym. Get on the phone. It's so much easier. It's so easy to make calls nowadays, right? You have automatic dialers, you got headphones, you got things to make it work. If you really want it, it's there. It's there for you, but it's up to you. And it's never convenient. These things are never convenient when you're going for the bigger picture. So that's your morning momentum. I'm Grace Simon, and I believe in you. I believe in your dream. And I wanna come alongside you every single day. So we'll see you again on Monday with more motivation days and we're going to talk about building your habits, stacking your habits and really seeing change in your life. Okay. Have an amazing day, everybody. God bless.